Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So a few of you guys have asked me questions. What do I do with my balloon backdrops when I'm done recording my videos? So in this video, I wanted to walk you guys through how I take down my balloon backdrops. I also wanted to show you how I store my flower walls because a few of you guys have asked me that as well. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that I'm gonna do is take down this neon sign. So hopefully you guys can see it. I have a VIP neon sign on this flower wall. I'm just gonna take that down. I use a clamp to attach it, so it's gonna be really easy for me to take it off. I'll be sure to zoom in so that you could see it. If you have any questions on where I got this VIP neon sign from, please be sure to check the description. I'm gonna put all the materials in there, all right? neon sign as you can see I just took it off of the clamp I'm not sure if you guys notice but the top of this chain was actually tied in a little knot because I wanted to position the sign a little bit higher on the flower wall okay so if you don't want it to hang too low on the flower wall just tie the top in like a little a little knot um, and then you can untie it, right, when you take it down, all right? So let me just show you. <laughs> you just wrap it around your finger, right, and then pull it through, right? With my neon signs, I'm going to be purchasing some storage bins so that I can keep these in. For right now, I just keep them in my room away from my son and my nephew just because I don't want them playing with it, right? You know how little boys are. They like to play with everything. And before you know it, something is broken. <laughs> so for right now, I just keep these in my room away from the boys. But I am going to be purchasing some storage bins just so that I can lay these in and then make sure that I keep all of the parts with them, right? So you wanna make sure that you keep the cords because there's cords, there's about two or three cords that come with each neon sign. And then you also wanna be able to keep this chain, right? Because the chain pops off. You wanna be able to keep the chain and all of the parts that go with the neon sign together. Now what I'm gonna do is take off my balloon garlands. Here's a big tip for you guys, and I'm not sure if I shared this with you before. Whenever I do my YouTube videos, I do not pop my balloons. I always take down my balloon garlands. I literally take them apart and uninflate the balloons so that I'm able to use it again, okay? So my videos, my YouTube videos are not sponsored by any balloon company, right? Whenever I do videos for you guys, it's because I purchase the balloons. So in order for me to get the most out of my balloons, I always uninflate my balloons so that I can use them again, right? And then also, I love doing that because then I can practice, right? I can keep practicing and practicing and practicing. I reuse my balloons like two to three times, right? So I can get two to three YouTube videos out just by using the same balloons. And because I record my YouTube videos in the house, right? My balloons are still just as shiny. <laughs> You guys probably didn't even notice the difference, right? So this is a tip for you guys for when you're practicing your balloon decorations, don't pop your balloons. So let me show you guys the back of the flower wall. I wanted to show you my backdrop stand. I always use 260 balloons to attach my balloon garland to my backdrop stand, as you can see here, okay? So I have one 260 up there, and then I have another one here. I like to attach it in at least two spaces. So what you can do when you're taking down your backdrop is you could always just cut these off, right? You can cut off the 260s, 
Or what you could do is you could untie them, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two ways to untie these 260 balloons. So sometimes if the knot is loose, you can untie it really easily. But if the knot is really tight, like this one right here, then what I do is I use a bobby pin. to take down this flower wall. So whenever I store my flower wall, I just roll it up and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. I roll it up and put it in storage bins. Now this flower wall has two panels. I roll up each panel and then put them separately in storage bins. I get my storage bins right from Home Depot. I will put a link for you guys in the description, but just know that I don't order them online. I go into the store and pick these up, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you take your flower wall off of your backdrop stand. And as you can see here, I have laid my flower wall down on my rug, and then I'm just pulling it out to make sure that it's all stretched out and laid out, okay? So you wanna make sure that you lay your flower wall on the floor with the flowers facing up. And now what I'm gonna do very carefully because I don't want any of these flowers to get damaged is I'm just taking the flower wall and now I'm just rolling it.
gonna do is untie all of these balloons so that I can use them again, okay? And then I also count all the balloons so that I can put those balloon counts in my YouTube videos. So that's how I know how many balloons that I use in my garlands is because I take them apart afterwards and then I count all the balloons and the sizes just so that you guys know how much I used, all right? So the first step, the first thing that I do is I just look for the quads. Because as you guys know, when I create my balloon garlands, I use quads. So I look for a quad. I normally start at the bottom or the top of the garland. So as you can see, these four balloons, one, two, three, four, hopefully you can see, one, two, three, four. This is a quad right here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the middle of the quad, right, where I tied the balloons together. I'm going to go to the balloon necks, and then I'm just going to pull on the balloon necks to loosen up that knot, and then I'm just going to pull them apart, okay? So I'm going to try to zoom in so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. But as you can see, as I pull on it, it just, it just, the air just comes out of it. All right, guys, so I am finished with untying all of my balloons. So the last thing that I do is I just divide my balloons by size because that makes it easier for me to count them for you guys. So I have all of my balloons here. I have my five inch and my nine inch. I have my 24 inch. I have my two sixties right here. And then I also have my 11 inch balloon. So I'm just gonna count all of these. Oh, and I forgot my 18 inch balloons. So I'm just gonna count all of these and then add them to my YouTube video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.